What's up, folks? Chris from ClassicBWBugs.com, and in this video, we're going to do a push or a blowout of the center fuel line through the chassis. Now, this is my 54 convertible that I just wrapped up, and I put about over 100 miles on this car already, and uh, this past weekend, I was tootling around. I probably did about 60 or 70 miles this weekend, and I started to feel it buck and die on me. I actually broke down three times in New Jersey with it, and I actually had a fellow jump out of his car to help push me off the street and into a parking lot. I was stuck at a, at a traffic light. So this could be, you know, troublesome at times. And um, this is where I feel like when you go on a road trip or you're going to a show that's a couple hours away or something, uh, go with a group of people and make sure you uh, pack in a good toolkit when you're going out. And I have a video on toolkits and what you should have in your beetle when you're tootling around so uh, what I noticed was I did take the top of the carburetor off and I looked down in there and the bowl was empty so apparently there is some fluctuation in the fuel uh, being sent to the carburetor um, so I checked that out and um, the fuel filter that we mounted underneath the back seat which is where we like to put our fuel filters uh, had some sediment in it and even though I have a brand new gas tank for this car I have fuel filters on, brand new rebuilt fuel pump, brand new rebuilt carb. Uh, I think the sediment in that 68 year old fuel line that's going through uh, the chassis is starting to break loose. And it uh, happens today with the, the gas today with ethanol. Ethanol will free up the junk that's in your old fuel line and start passing it through. So I have some sediment uh, in my fuel filter and I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the soft lines that go from the chassis, uh, through the chassis rather, and just blow some compressed air through there and make sure that we are free and clear. And uh, sometimes that is it and you're free. Uh, if that's not it, then uh, we got to keep digging. But this is a video to show you how to blow through your steel fuel line that's in your ancient steel fuel line <laughs> through your Volkswagen chassis. Let's get to it. Yeah. Right, let's see. If I can get this, there it is. Uh, there's our filter. Focus in. Mm -hmm. Come on, focus on this. Focus on this. There we go. There's our sediment. Check it out. That's all it takes. The filter's got fuel in it, though. Okay, because my bowl, the car, the bowl and the carburetor was empty. So as if there's fuel here, so I'm just hoping there's not blockage now in the fuel pump. You got it? There you go. Right, so it's just easier to cut the fuel line. And then you can use that line here to blow the air into. And this is the line that goes down into the chassis. I don't know if I can get up in here to show you. Yeah. There's the line into the chassis. So it's just easier to, to cut. Yeah, that's <coughs> kind of crappy. Definitely got to change that too. Language, we gotta beep that out. <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta disconnect the line back here where the fuel filter is. So when we disconnect this, then this will be free. We can have the hose down here, and when we blow air from the front to the back here, it blows out here. Put a rag over this or point it downward so you see what kind of junk is inside the line. You don't want to blow it all up into the under the uh, luggage. <clears throat> there we go. Wow. Yep. Just a little though. I mean, it's not. Yeah, but it's all up in here too. It's inside the. Yep. Yep. In the veins. Yeah. All right. That 68 year old line's probably got some junk in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful chassis. Getting the big guns out. <laughs> so here's our compressor, here's our hose. You get a nozzle like this if you can. If 
if you can't get the nozzle or get a uh, or have a compressor and have this hose or whatnot you can go to what get some compressed air in a can or a bicycle pump okay that's good too so all right but this is what we use we'll go up in here and put it up on that fuel line and blow it out to the back i got my dad he's gonna go over to that cut fuel line now and blow through got steve in the back with a rag to catch the fuel You ready, Steve? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Running down my elbow. <laughs> yeah, it's. What the rag look like? That's what came out. Yep. yep. That's nasty. It's like rust. Now, could we spray some carb cleaner down in the line to blast that out? Would it help anything? No? To break it up gas, a little bit? Gas is a solvent. Yep, yep. That's true. And with ethanol, right? Some nice chunks a, in there. Quite a bit of... Yep. Whatever Shiny. That, <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, so that's how you blow through your fuel line, guys. Um, process of elimination, now we put it all back together and see how she runs. And if it's still <coughs> a problem, uh, then it's next is looking yeah. at our fuel pump. off then we'll see if there's any junk in there mm -hmm. but brand new rebuilt car from Volkspitz but again I tell people all the time it doesn't mean anything you could have a brand new car and there could still be junk in it who knows how long it's been sitting on the shelf That's all right, right? Yeah. That's what I checked the other day, and that seemed okay. Anything in the bowl? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, good. It's a good sign. Was over the weekend, that was empty. So there's your float that Steve just took out. So there's your little float. And then you want to check in the bowl so down in here. Clean. Make sure there's fuel in there. If it's empty, if it's empty, then... Uh, your carb is not getting fuel. Cut this off. A little operation time. There's still crap in it, so. A lot of sediment in the cup, though. Let me look at that. Yeah. Does it feel gritty? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, man. It's like sand. It's sand. It's sand. Yep. Put it in the cover. Let's go take out the needle and see, just in case. Let's double check that. I don't see anything in my hands. Ooh. So you got this rebuilt, right? Yep. So why didn't you put two washers instead of one? I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. But. As Steve said, the two washers would 
lower the flow. Lower the flow of fuel, huh? Not bad. I think it'll be enough. You put one or two? Two. Put two back in. Anything? It's clean. Maybe it's just discolored at the bottom. Okay. Just wipe the bottom of the bowl there, thinking that maybe there was some sediment, and clean out what's in there. Uh, but uh, rag looks clean. Give it a shot. To do, fire it up. Good. Best idea is just run it for a little while, then uh, take it for a drive, stay local, and uh, see if that solves your problem. sediment just came through that was caught by the filter underneath. We also put a fuel filter in the front by the gas tank and that is clear. So it's definitely not in the tank. It's in the line in the chassis. Thank you.